Hey guys, how's it going? Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews, back again with another Patreon shout out. Today we have Jesse Cervantes, uh, Kyle Hooper, and Jason Colapinto. Really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Some of the newer patrons been around for a couple months. The continued support means the world to me and really helps me be able to do the things that I'm able to do. Keep moving on to different types of content and trying different things in the Cornhole space. Hopefully I get to meet you guys in person sometime, but appreciate all the constant support. And for the rest of you guys, I hope you enjoy this review. What's going on, guys? Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews, back again with another dual review. And today we got two from Minnesota Tailgate. We got their Beta and their Delta. Before we start, Queen City Yard Games, you guys know I love my boards. Check out their website for boards, bags, carrying cases, everything you can think of. They do an awesome, awesome job. Gladiator Cornhole Glove, you guys know I love this thing. Link below, Eddie10, 10% 10 off. And Patreon, appreciate all you guys that have supported me on Patreon. I do some over shout outs and patches and whatnot, but really helps support the channel. If you want to join that, link in the description below. Appreciate everyone that supported me so far. All right, guys, Minnesota Tailgate. Deltas and Betas. So this company is local to me. And they're in downtown Minneapolis. The guy who runs it, Mike, awesome, awesome guy. Um, I've been working with them a lot. As you guys can see, I did the Omega release and I'll have some stuff probably before this review release. So I'm going to have a uh, collab release of some other stuff as well coming from him. But he makes a really awesome bag. He's probably the most underrated bag maker uh, that in my opinion, just because no one knows about them, but so many people in Minnesota throw them. It's like if you're from, you know, Detroit area and you know about young guns and how good Keith is at throwing, making his bags. It's like that for Minnesota. So the beta, this is their newest ACL comp stamp bag. And this, the Delta is their newest ACL pro stamp bag. I really enjoy the beta, the Delta. I have some issues with, which we'll, we'll go over, but Still a really good bag, but just some uh, some questions that I had basically. But the beta, so material, we're calling this thing a 6.7 speed. Uh, the materials, the slow side is the material you would find on a uh, Big Daddy Carnage. You'd find on a Psycho X. You'd find on a Cornell Solutions Character 77 slow side. It's that 6 speed, really smooth so slow side. A lot of companies are going to be coming out with bags with this material. It's a really, really solid material. Fast side is what you'd find on your you know Viking fast side, Chaos fast fast side a lot of carpet bags use it it's a seven speed soft material that we talk about all the time that we really really enjoy um and then the delta delta is a five six speed bag and that's where my issue comes in about the bag slow side you're looking at surefire slow side that nice five speed material that everyone's used to six side is the slow side of this bag so again uh, Carnage slow side psycho x slow side and that's my only problem is that it's kind of a slow slow bag like uh, it's basically like pick which slow side you like the hand feel more, whether it's Surefire or Psycho X slow side, and throw that side. But in terms of like if you need a push ability, it doesn't have that Surefire push side, doesn't have that game changer push side. And in my opinion, you guys know me, I like having that 8-9 speed push side to really plow through two, three bags. I'm throwing slow side 99% of the time, throwing cuts with it, um, normal slide shots. I'm only using that fast side to push, and I feel like I'm missing out on the fast side. I kind of have that same thing with the beta but this seven speed material can be used as a nice fast side you know it can push through pretty nicely but i would say this bag in humidity both these bags in humidity just stick up like crazy this combo if you know anything about uh mother shuckers 989 that's the exact same combo as this um, with that six seven speeds so a lot of people like those bags as well and again they play super great Phil, I love his fill. He's got really like the soft disc fill. His template is one of my favorite templates. It's like a medium side, size rounded corner. It feels a lot like a 2020 Surefire, I think is the best template size in my opinion on all of his bags. And that's why I wanted to work with him on making some new bags, doing some collabs, because I think he's got one of the best templates in the game, some of the best fill. Really solid closing stitch, solid corners. You know, what you expect from a high quality bag. And then here's where we get to the kicker. This is the reason I was trying to, I was selling the Omegas, gave them my budget bag of the year. They're like 50 or 60 bucks plus shipping for an ACL pro stamp and ACL comp stamp. I mean, you're not going to beat that price point. You're going to, it's, it's, it's kind of competing with the fire and the Reynolds of the world, maybe strive coming out soon in that $50, $60 price point. Those are the, really the only companies left that are in this price point. So again, you want to try a small company making a crazy high quality bag at a cheap, cheap price point. You know, and my collabs, I was doing them for 65 ships. I mean, you can't beat that level of price point for a bag this high quality. So really enjoy it. I'll put the link to the website below, minnesotatailgate.com, I believe, uh, on where you can pick these up. But we'll get into throwing some shots here. So I'll probably throw both sides of the board down here. I don't know if down there the four-wheeler gets in the way, but I can try my best. So we'll start out with the betas. So again, this is a 6.7, similar to a 9.8.9. 
Uh, break-in method on these, a little bit juiced. Break-in method on these, um, I did do a softener soak. The light's turning off, definitely screwed with me there. Um, a softener soak and then wash it out with detergent um, and then tumble dry. I would say the best, one of the best teams in Minnesota throws the betas. Those are their go-to bag that they help design. Uh, all in all, plays like a really solid bag. It's definitely meant for a lower thrower. I'm throwing the Surefire side right now of this five-speed material here of the Deltas. And again, I mean, like you guys know I love Surefire material, so I'm obviously, it throws super good. So I don't want to think, again, there's nothing, let's turn the lights back on, nothing wrong with the bag by any means. Just in my personal opinion, I need a faster push side. So I think if, obviously, if he paired it with Surefire fast side, it would be a Surefire mock, but you could pair it with, you know, Viper fast side, get a deadhead. Um, and not many people pair with this seven material, but there's just other options, I think. Nice block there. All right, so now I got the seven speed fast side. It can push, but it's a little bit, if you guys are used to that eight fast side, I'm really lofting. I can still throw these a little bit firmer, which a lot of people like. You don't have to really change your throw even on a push. Oh, threw a little bit of a cut there. It actually went around. Oh, that's awful. Bad word. Uh, I try to push one more time. Oh my God. Woof. Warm up not looking good this game. I'm gonna stick on the side. I don't wanna get in the four wheeler. I'll, I'll try using that side to push through. Nope. Throw it a little harder. Gosh, my pushes feel awful right now. Again, like just pushing with a little bit softer material. There's a nice little cut. Um, I could step out and collect this thing. Nice little collect. So again, those are the deltas. I'm, th I'm always throwing betas first, delta second, just to keep it easier to for tracking purposes and whatnot. But both of them really enjoyable. He did do customs for me, so these are CB CBR customs. We're gonna have a lot more customs coming out with him soon. Um, again, he's probably my favorite, obviously my favorite local brand, but I think he's one of the most underrated companies, especially that stamped. I didn't, oh yeah, I said they're comp stamp and pro stamp, but the fact that he's stamped at this price point, all right, that's an airmail drag waiting to happen. That's short. Oh no, it hit. Forget I'm going downhill this way. Let's throw a fast side here. Seven speed fast side. Slides up nice. Nice little four piece with an airmail drag. Let's stick with the surefire slow side here. Because again, if I threw the fast side here, it would literally just be the fast side I was, or the slow side I was just throwing in the other bag. Do not think that's cut collectible. So I'm going to switch over to the six speed side. Yep, bullied out of the way. Go back to the five speed side. Again, both of them play fairly similarly to me. Oh man, a little juice. Four bag to four. That's all right, throwing it a little harder, making sure I get it up to the hole and stick up, but you probably don't need to go that hard. They break in super nice. I'm actually, I'm gonna throw the deltas first this time. They break in super nice. I mean, they just get so soft in hand. Again, this is one of my favorite templates that exists. I just love the way his bags feel. And again, they just play super friendly, so. You guys might've seen some of the prototype bags I was working on with him in my vlog. I'm gonna step out here. Go with the six speed side so I can collect it. Ooh, nice little collect. Go, try to push them all in. Did I really miss? I stink so bad. All right, now that I have those bags like that, I wonder if I can cut in that right side. I'm gonna try to cut in that little hole. Ah, I missed. <laughs> Let's try again. Oh! Did I go? Oh, I hit what I wanted to. All right, let's go fast side, push them all. Huh, now can I cut collect it into that hole or should I go, ah, let's go for the airmail drag. There we go, three bag airmail. <laughs> Dang, that second one should have definitely cut in there and not, not fell, not quite fast enough, but we'll go down back one more time. Again, I just love throwing Minnesota tailgate bags. Um, there's a reason that I just, I really try to push his brand. I think he's got some of the best bags in the business. The Omega especially, and you guys are going to be ready for what's coming, man. He's got a lot of good stuff coming. 
Again, I mean, they just throw really smooth. Let's go for an air mail. Uh, see, it's definitely downhill that way. I threw that so light compared to the, <laughs> down this way, and it's deep. Again, back to the Delta's five-speed side, surefire side. Still nice and hole friendly. Again, on fast boards, these things play awesome. Ooh. All right, one more shorter. Short, Eddie, short. There you go. <laughs> take take three inches off your email. Coming back down one more time. So I'll have more reviews of more Minnesota tailgate bags in the future. I uh, just wanted to get these two of his current sets out, but be on the lookout for more stuff coming soon. Throwing the betas here. That is going to kick on me. Still very forgiving. Like that bag was not flat by any means. Still slid in nicely. That's going to kick left. Yeah, that boy, Eddie. Let's see if I can throw a block and then have to deal with it with the second bag. Nice. Um, here, I'll try to throw on this side, see if I can not hit the four-wheeler and throw a little, little cut. That four-wheeler's getting in my way. Let's try it again. Oh, not enough cut. I would step out more normally. Oh, come on, Eddie. One more try. I'm, I blame the four-wheeler. All right, you guys get the gist. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible way to end, but that's all right. All right, guys, beta and delta. So beta, 989, six, seven speeds, delta, five, six speeds, surefire with that slow side of this bag. All in all, you know, love the template, love the feel. Wish this one had a slightly faster fast side, but, you know, if you like a slow bag, you like throwing a hard push side that's just a tick faster, and you like something like a 989 that's close up the speed range, but a little bit slower, you like that surefire feel, they're still a really solid bag. I mean, if you like throwing hard pushes, really, really good. So really great price point, really great guy making them great. One of my favorite templates, they break in wonderful, they feel great. So overall, enjoy the bags. Appreciate you guys stopping by for another review. If you like these, please like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and rest of your week, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.